What if we were to tell you that ancient people discovered how to build flying machines 15,000 years ago? Not just flying about the skies, but underwater and even in space. 15,000 years ago, India was known as the Rama Empire, and they excelled in every discipline from mathematic calculations to complicated science and even completely lost technology beyond our modern thinking. Today, a huge wealth of text and buildings still exist to back up their existence in India that testifies to the extremely advanced civilization that is said by these texts to go back over 36,000 years. This civilization was wiped out by the ancient cataclysm 12,000 years ago, but today many secrets are being uncovered that we are told is nothing more than myth, but we think not. In 1923, blueprints were published using the Vedic text showing a flying machine called the Vimana from the Rama Empire 15,000 years ago and how it would fly. But there are pockets of evidence from around this time period suggesting that airships were designed and built in Europe as a direct result from this ancient information. Only now are we beginning to understand the ancient empire and their stunning achievements before the ancient cataclysm of 12,000 years ago which ended their civilization. Wait till you hear this. Okay, so according to modern history, a couple of French guys first put humankind in the skies with the invention of the hot air balloon in 1780. This was followed 120 years later when the Wright brothers made their first successful flight using a gas-powered engine. This literally changed the modern world forever, but these were ancient inventions that we have only rediscovered in modern times. We know that sounds crazy to most people. We have been deliberately educated in such a way that makes us completely ignorant to ancient history. There are barriers in place stopping us from seeking the true history of the world and of humankind. Is this because of the trauma the human race suffered during the cataclysm? The old cliche that is easier to move on than to remember the past. That is a possibility, you know. Anyway, Indian texts state that the Rama Empire over 15,000 years ago developed air flight and anti-gravity technology. The Indian Sanskrit epic tale handed down for generations called the Ramayana is an epic poem that may actually be an actual historical account of the ancient war between mighty beings elevated as hero gods. The Ramayana mentions numerous fly machines called Vimana which rained fire upon the cities of the empires of the prehistoric Indian kingdom. UFO researchers and even rogue scientists propose that evidence exists that man had already developed anti-gravity technology with some accounts of a battle on the moon between warring factions of two mighty ancient earth empires. All of this ancient technology was lost when both sides, the Rama Empire and the nation of Atlantis used weapons of mass destruction to plunge the entire world into a cataclysm resulting in the legendary sinking of Atlantis and in Vedic Sanskrit lore, the annihilation of the Rama Empire via atomic warfare. This would fit straight into history and explain a lot about the lost history on Earth, but for now we are still being force-fed historical lies. The account of these ancient flying machines has been reduced to hand-me-down religious epic poems over generations. An account that has been mostly ignored until science and researchers of this age began to realize that all of the world's mythology may actually be an accurate description for actual world events during ancient times. Traditional archaeologists and historians wrongly subscribe to the idea that technology developed at a slow pace over time have preached that there were no such things as aircraft in prehistoric times. Even NASA is picking up the slack. They are working on an ion engine which uses a stream of high velocity electrified particles, technology similar to ancient mercury powered ionizing engines of the Amatas but using today's knowledge and engineering. Ancient Indian Sanskrit texts have extensive and extremely detailed descriptions of flying vehicles used by godlike heroes to travel their kingdom as well as flying temples waging war against another rival kingdom, the Atlanteans. The Ramayana and other Indian Sanskrit epic poems have been relegated to mythical status by historians rather than accepted as a crude but accurate account of flight and gravity control technology and war histories of two highly advanced ancient civilizations. A regression to hunter-gatherer survival conditions may have happened if a pole shift hit us, conditions of which are being studied right now by new think archaeologists looking for an explanation for global coincidences in archaeological dig findings and regional myths and folklore. 
In 1875, the Vaimanika Sastra, a 4th century BC text, was discovered in a temple in India. The Sanskrit text detailed ancient Vedic flight technologies for the operation of the Amanas, including instructions on steering the aircraft in air, underwater, and in space, what precautions to take for long flights, and protection of the airship from storms and lightning. The Vaimanika Sastra even details how to switch the drive back and forth from solar energy to anti-gravity flight power depending on flight conditions. Containing eight chapters with diagrams describing three types of Vyamana aircraft, including working mechanisms that are not vulnerable to fire and never break down, plus all the 31 essential parts of an airship and 16 specifically forged materials from which they are constructed. The Vedic text was much sought after document even by the Nazis during their time. The Rama Empire aircraft vehicles are built and designed to absorb both light and heat as power source and for stealth flight. With the cataclysm sinking the Atlantis and wiping out the Rama Empire's major cities with atomic weapons, the world endured a few thousand years of post-apocalyptic Stone Age existence. We are slowly warming up to this idea as fact and we may even one day uncover how to replicate this lost knowledge. We told you the truth may be stranger than you think. Thanks for watching and remember, the ways by which we arrive at knowledge are hardly less wonderful than the discovery of these things themselves.